Wow, wow, woo, wow. it's me, your boy, B3, back with another kicking action figure review. Uh, so we recently reviewed the NECA 54 poster version Godzilla and the NECA 64 Godzilla. So we're gonna re now review one that came out between them. The Godzilla King of the Monsters 2019 Atomic Breath Godzilla. Yeah, this is the Atomic Blast version of the 2019. Mostly a repaint, but it's got some new stuff, of course. Uh, and I really liked the standard 2019, so I can't see myself really disliking this figure. NECA has changed their packaging for their Godzilla line, and I think it's a much, much better packaging. It's really nice for in-package collectors as well, even though the Godzilla King of the Monsters boxes don't look nearly as good as, say, the Classic Series boxes. I'm sorry, but it's true, dude! So we have uh, Godzilla here, powering up his little beamy weemies. I think this is right before he blasted into the sky. Uh, I've only seen the movie a couple times. King of the Monsters, you open it up, you got the beautiful figure in the window, and a little ACBA product image here. It's top, bottom, the side has a bit of a read-up. If you can, it's kind of small, if you can see that, you can pause and read it. Uh, shows off the beam effects on the back, and it also shows other figures available in the line, even though it's just uh, promotional art. It's not any of the actual figures. Rodan and Mothra, who I've reviewed, and uh, I guess the stand this Godzilla, the standard Godzilla. I've reviewed the standard Godzilla, Mothra, and Rodan all. Um, I probably will not get the Mothra repaint. I think I'm going to pass on the Mothra repaint. Maybe in a few years, if it's not super expensive, I might go back and get it. But at this point, the Mothra figure wasn't special enough. And I felt like maybe Mothra wasn't special enough in the movie to warrant two figures of her that are repaints. Uh, if she comes with the larva, like the first one was supposed to, maybe I'll reconsider. But uh, measures 12 inch, head to tail. <laughs> it's a 6 inch figure. This just makes it sound bigger when you're reading it online and buying online. Hinge jaw and blast accessory, over 25 points of articulation, 65th anniversary. All great stuff. So let's bust Godzilla out of package. And here it is out of packaging, the NECA 2019 Atomic Breath Godzilla. Very, very cool. As I said, it is mostly just a repaint, but it's a very well done repaint. They could have just painted the spines blue and been done and that could have been it. But it's so many different types of blues, and there's silver in there. It's coming all the way down Godzilla's sides, like in veins of energy. It's down the legs, you see that? It's all down the arms and the chest. You can see the energy in the eyes, and even in the mouth. The tongue is even metallic blue. Now this, this is an absolutely gorgeous repaint. Really, if you have to repaint a figure, this is how you do it long tail and uh, the 2019 regular release doesn't come with any accessories but this one comes with uh, an atomic blast effect pretty cool which uh, can just be the spiral end beam by itself or you can plug this onto it this kind of impact effect you see so this somehow goes in there. I'm not entirely sure how, to be completely honest. But, uh... I guess you just have it pressed up against something, since it's an comp... effect. You press that up against something, and then it's... Oh, being hit by the atomic blast. Now, the way it goes in Godzilla's mouth is... The tongue actually goes in a hole inside the blast. And the tongue holds it in. Most of these Godzillas have a slot, but this one kind of wraps, oops, <laughs> kind of wraps around the tongue instead. Uh, it seems like it might not hold as well as other uh, NECA Atomic Breath Godzillas, but I still think it's pretty cool. Uh, still good for display, and I still like it more than Monster Arts Beam Effects, to be completely honest. Very nice, my name is Jeff. Yeah, it looks nice. Can't argue that. So, uh, we are going to do some size comparisons as well. Let's get this Atomic Blast stuff out of the way. Yes. Put them in this box of accessories. 
that I have next to me. Push Godzilla back a bit. Now, who are we going to compare this Godzilla with? First, I want to compare it with another NECA, for people who like to display the same lines together. Here's the NECA Atomic Breath GMK. And as you can see, this is a much better Atomic Breath repaint than this. And I actually think this is pretty good. I think this is a good figure. I like... But it's a little more big-time Spider-Man than anything, if you're a fan of Marvel Legends and know about that first big-time Spider-Man that came out. But I think this is a superior repaint. Still a good figure, though. GMK is my favorite film, after all. Let's show it with a Bandai Creations. Here's the Bandai Creations Final Wars 2004 Godzilla. Scales well with this line. I don't have any Playmates to show you, and my Monster Arts are kind of put away on a specialty shelf that they're locked in. But I do have this Mezco King Kong in honor of Godzilla vs. Kong coming out. I really hope NECA can give us a Kong, but I don't think that's gonna happen, to be completely honest. I think you'll have to stick with the Playmates. We might get a Monster Arts, but there's the YMSF Sakura Kong as well. Uh, there are some options. But this is a great King Kong figure, even if it does look a little big for this Godzilla. So, what are my final thoughts on the NECA Godzilla 2019 Atomic Breath version action figure? Pretty cool. I got it from my local comic shop. Very, very uh, fun place. Great place. I get pretty much all my NECA Godzilla stuff there now. Unless it's an exclusive, like the Burning Godzilla that I don't have yet. But, I feel like this Godzilla is a must-have for the modern collector. If you want to just get one of the 2019s, that's fine. Uh, get whichever one you want based on your preference. If I could only get one of the 2019 NECA Godzillas, no, I might have just gotten the regular one. Not that this isn't a beautiful, amazing figure, but um, if I can only have Godzilla in one form, I'd prefer it to be a standard just for display purposes. But I do love Atomic Breath variants, and this is a really good one. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. We do have podcasts now. I do podcasts. Uh, so check out the B3 Podcasts Facebook page and our podcasts, Toku King, which is one that Godzilla fans will really like, as well as Tabletop Recap, and we're also working on a horror anthology podcast, which I think Godzilla fans will enjoy as well, so stay tuned for those. Thank you all once again, and I'll see you all next time.